we're now on hashes and symbol of Ruby. Um, let's go back. I, I started this earlier, but we'll go back real quick and uh, do it. So just a quick little quick text here about to remind us how to do hashes, but uh, just kind of the way I remember it is it's kind of like an array, but a little bit different symbols and uh, they have keys also. So in this case, we're just going to set and once to create an empty hash. So there we go. Okay, <laughs> the next thing it wants us to do is iterate over the mats hash and print each value to the console using puts. So it gives us a pretty close example of what we can expect here. So dot each, we want it to go through each. And we have the key, and then we have the value, and you can name these anything you want. But, uh, Let's see if that works. So there we go. So you can see right here that it prints out the name or age of each one. Alright, so let's see here. Nil, a formal introduction. So Okay, uh, this is basically saying that in regards to Boolean operators, there's true and false, but there's also nil, and nil means uh, isn't the same as false. It just means nothing at all. So, alright. So, let's see, creatures. So, this wants us to test it, and the key here, remember. And we'll say seven, something random. So nil doesn't exist. Setting your own default. All right. So it wants us to create an a nil and give it a another value. So, this is basically the default value by the sounds of it, and it wants us to see how that goes. Alright, cool. Alright, it looks like it wants us to just kind of examine what's going on here. What's a symbol? So, let's see, this is checking the symbol, seeing if the same object is listed twice. I'm not really quite sure what's going on there, to be honest. Um, symbols start with a colon, and then they must have a variable name. After a colon has to be a letter or underscore. Alright, so it wants us to create a my first symbol. Alright. It's saying that they expect to use underscore in the naming convention also. So uh, colon name. So let's see if that works. Okay, so the symbol is name. Alright, what are symbols used for? They're immutable, meaning they can't be changed once they're created. Okay, I guess that could be helpful. 
only one copy of any symbol exists at a given time. The symbol says keys are faster than strings as keys. So this is a, uh, if you know you're not going to have to change anything, um, just a better way to go about it speed-wise. Alright, so in this case we'll just do the same convention that they were doing. So there's still hashes, technically. At least that's how I would think of them. That should work just fine. Probably don't need that for the last comma. Alright, let's see here. Oh, we do need the last comma. Did I not have a three here? There we go. Okay, so we forgot the three. Alright. Converting between symbols and strings. We're going to use the dot two underscore s and dot two system. Create a new variable symbols. All right. And store an empty array in it. Okay, easy enough. Use dot each to iterate over the string array. So symbols dot each to do, I believe. Right, what does it do? Yeah, do, and then we values. And then we're going to say for s in, let's see here. For s in strings, use dot two symbols for s in symbol use on page. Let's see how they do it here. Okay, so let's just uh, type out what they have here. S dot two underscore slash and then you start push the add the new symbol to symbols symbol symbols dot push and then end that. I'm not sure this is gonna work, but we'll give it a shot. Did you create a variable called symbols? Let's go back to the instructions and see here. So we stored an empty array. I'll push S. Okay, so we pushed it. We're adding the S here. Let's change that to values just in case that's messing it up. Alright, we create an empty array. Symbols on each two values. Oh. Oops. Dreams. <laughs> First. All right. For s in strings, use dot s dot to sim to convert s to a symbol, and use push to add that. Uh, 
Oh, you know what? Let's do it like that. I, th I think I created a hash code. Oh, we're still having an issue. So let's let's look at the example. So we'll, they have our array. We create an array. We check our original array. If it has some value. Um, for s in strings. S dot two sim and the symbol dot push. And end. Okay, so I think we're doing okay here. So let's uh, take a second to see what suggestions they may have. So let's see what they did here. Strings that each do s, and we'll stop push s to the sim. Okay, so in this case. Didn't it say create a for loop? For each S and string says. Oh no, it's okay. So that for loop might be what's killing us there. Huh. There we go. No. Oh. Oops again, it looks like HTML is in a symbol. Hmm. S equals S. So we create the string, create there, create our array, create the string, and then we set S is equal to S dot two sim. Oh. Okay. So I was thinking this changed it, but there we go. Okay, so <laughs> this just calls it on it <coughs> without re without changing the value of s. So a um, little bit sloppy there. We'll have to work a little bit harder with the symbols. But it's a new concept. All right, mini pass to the same summit. Update your code from the last exercise. Use dot intern instead of dot. So this will let us use dot intern on it. Um, let's see if I think in my ABS you see it's just doing it like that. Because this is a string, and then we're calling it the dot intern. Alright. The marriage of hashes and symbols. All board the hash rocket. So once I create a, have us create a hash called movies. It then wants us to add two symbols. So say uh, uh, we'll do it, you know really the same example that they have. One comma and then we'll do colon two. All right. It's inside your hash has your key. The key should be the names of movies. Okay, never mind. So this will be uh, it's a good movie. Um, Home Alone. And then we'll have let me put this in brackets. Or actually, we don't, do we? Home Alone. Uh, We'll change this because this looks like it's a keyword to um, what's a good movie right now? Uh, Avengers. Avengers 2. And we'll change this one to Superman. The value should be a quick description. I'll get rid of that too. Uh, it was pretty good, and it was better. It was better than expected. 
Alright. Uh, let's see if that works. Whew. There we go. Had to fix the equal. Looked pretty scary with all those errors. But uh, there are hashes and symbols. And finally, the hash rocket has landed. And let's see. Uh, it's saying in Ruby 1.9 they've changed the way that the syntax works. So. Um, basically, uh, I don't think this will work now. Alright, so, get rid of that, get rid of that, and it should work. Okay, basically, they changed the uh, syntax in Ruby 1.9, which is probably the most current version. So this is how you're going to be able to use hashes. Dare to compare. So let's see, this is going to get a string. There's a lot going on here, so let's just save and submit. Alright, so the springtime is equal to dot zip. String time. String time. Uh, who knows what's going on here? We'll take a look at that another time. Uh, Got to be more selective. For that, we can use dot select. So let's see. Okay, so it's kind of uh, almost like an if statement. All right. Yeah. All right. Create a new variable called good movies and set it equal to the result of equals. Movie uh, ratings dot select, and then we have our key, and we have our value, and then uh, let's look back at the syntax real quick. Slash that, alright. Alright, so those are our two parameters. It's selecting uh, where our value is only greater than three. So I believe that should work. And there you go. So we get uh, Primer, The Matrix, the Truman Show, Skyfall, Lion King. I don't know what Primer is, but uh, apparently I need to check it out. The other ones I'm a big fan of, so I'd say our program works pretty well. All right. Um, okay, so this just wants us to pr put... Uh, So this just wants us to print only the value. And then we'll say key. And then we'll say puts key. I think that should work. Movie underscore ratings. There you go. Cool. So that is hashes and symbols. Of course, we'll share this. And let's see what our next section is going to be. So we'll be building. Oh, it looks like we're finally getting some real code in. in. It's getting a little bit bigger. More than one screen. Um. We're going to be building this, though. It looks like uh, it's something to do with movies. So, that was the next section of Ruby, and uh, this will be the next one. See you guys next time.